Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to show you guys how my races are going, so I thought I might start this series. So if you guys are liking this, go ahead and let me, uh, let me know if you want to see more in the comments down below. Practice, I got down to a 16.3. This was my first race. The second race, I gained a 10th, but I'm not really able to consistently keep that, at least as of now. The key to this track seems to be trail braking, at least in the Legends cars. Trail braking seems to be very, very important. You need to kind of feather the brakes throughout to the to the apex of the corner to be able to get a good time. So here's my uh, qualify. The fastest I've seen here is a 16 flat, so I'm definitely still off the pace. I think I was braking too aggressively, going too late, and so that would happen a lot, sliding like that. So, uh... I wound up with a 16346. It's not too bad, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I was aiming for more of a 16284, kind of like this guy here. So, I kind of messed it up there. I was just braking way too aggressively, so let's move on to the race now. I wouldn't say this race went too bad, but I could have done a lot better if I practiced more. Definitely I could have jumped that better, but I wasn't really... I uh, think I was putting on my gloves or something. My pace was this, was kind of good, but I still was braking too aggressively, so... I was kind of getting like into the back of everyone instead of uh, instead of running good consistent laps I was kind of almost dive bombing everybody. That obviously was the braking too much I just needed to learn my trail braking. So over here you can see the uh, car right here gets into the back of this other guy and he kind of, kind of, yeah, he spins him out, and I wasn't really paying attention to this guy here who just spun out whoever that was over there. And so because of that, I should have just used my brakes earlier, but since I wasn't really paying attention, I should have expected this, but you can see it's kind of easy. I should have just went low and slammed my brakes, but obviously I didn't. And then I got into the back of this guy too, even though I could clearly see he was coming back on the track. So this was was my worst race, I'd say. It's just what happens when you're not calm during your race. One good thing I guess you could say stock cars are pretty strong, so it didn't really affect my lap times or how the car handled. So by this point I was in ninth position. I kind of bumped that guy out of the way because I'm still braking too hard. That guy just spun himself out. I got caught behind a lot of these slower cars due to that spin. This guy here had some good pace because he was definitely pretty consistent. Throughout this entire race I was way too aggressive on the brakes but at least my times were somewhat consistent. I was kind of like on the edge of spinning on each, each uh, turn. So by the end of the race I kept my position in 8th. I could have definitely done a lot better had I not been uh, braking too hard and just uh, keeping it more consistent and calm. Anyways, at the end I just decided to have this little round here and then we'll move on to the second race I did and the last one.
eight. You had to race around the circle. Alright guys, so going into the second race, I was definitely focusing more on my braking because it seems like Charlotte uh, Legends Oval, the uh, key to speed seems to be in trail braking in these Legends cars. So my goal was to try and exit to the walls on uh, both turns and try and brake around the same area but keep it more trail braking rather than aggressively braking all at the straight. So as you can see I'm holding my brakes a little bit better and the only thing I wasn't uh, paying attention to which I should have was I also needed to get on the gas way earlier. I could have uh, modulated it better. Anyways this is my qualifying right now. Right there I got a little tight. That was really tight. So that came out to be a 16.35. That's kind of the same as before. It definitely shows the trail braking I can improve more because with the other braking method, that aggressive braking, I definitely couldn't have gained any more time. In my testing I was able to do a 16.2 but I, I couldn't replicate it here for some reason. So going into the race, green flag flies. I don't know why these paint schemes aren't loading. So of course someone had to get into somebody. That was a pretty close one. I could have gotten into that easily. So that was actually pretty lucky right there, taking it three wide on the first turn like always. I kind of got uh, shuffled down to the back since I was on the outside. But one thing that's good about the outside in these uh, Legends cars is it gives you a lot of speed on the straightaway if you're able to get on the gas early enough. So, as you can see here, I'm definitely more consistent using the trail braking method, but I, there was obvi obviously more room to improve, and I think that was with my throttle input. That would have definitely gotten me a couple more tenths. I wasn't really going up to the wall as far as I could, on, especially on turn four. Eleven pretty much let me by there, but at least he wasn't going to fight for it and make us wreck. So here I'm catching the 10. I kind of cut the track right there. Definitely quicker than the 10 at this point, but the hardest part is once you catch up to someone, you got to really try hard not to bump them. And getting around on this track is pretty much impossible unless you have fresher tires. So right there, I got into him. At least we didn't like totally crash out. I'm glad he didn't he didn't uh, try and spin me out. He could have, but he didn't. So at least he raced clean. I wasn't trying to hit him, I just totally messed up my breaking point. So like with every driver, once they're in front of you, they're really slow. Once I passed him, he was suddenly able to keep up. So we got into a little bit of a fight here. You can see he's uh, doing more aggressive braking, and I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm getting him on the exits and he's getting onto me on the entry. Right there I totally screwed up, I let him get on the inside, kind of opened the door there. He's gonna get past me here and the 11's gonna then try and get in too because the outside here is basically worthless. Once you're on the outside, pretty much all you can do is try and wedge back in behind them. Or hope that they spin themselves out. So, I was on the exit here. I was trying too hard to get a good, uh, good exit speed so I could catch up. I wound up spinning myself out because these things are more powerful than you think. That put me all the way back to... 
think it was like 12th. No, it was 9th, so it wasn't that bad. So I had to catch back up to the field. These guys back here were kind of keeping up with my pace, so it was really hard to catch back up. That guy spun himself out, so I got back up to 8th. And then these guys got into a fight, which slowed them all down, so that allowed me to catch up. So by this point, they're way slower than me, because uh, these are the guys from the back. So trying to pass them was difficult, and I was really trying my best not to run into them. I could have just went on the outside and tried to gain some speed, but I was afraid I was going to spin myself out again. So at this point, my plan was to just try and stay on the inside and hope that they would uh, give a little bit of a door so I could, I guess you could say, uh, like try and force my way in there. But that doesn't really usually work, especially not in Rookie Legends. So the 8 there totally messed up his exit, so that allowed me to get past him. But the 7 was only slightly slower than me, and his line was pretty good, so passing him was going to be really difficult. That 8 there got into the back of me. That obviously wasn't on purpose. That was just him messing up his breaking points. But it's very easy to spin someone out here. So I pretty much stayed behind him for a good amount of time. That run around the outside, it kind of gave me a little bit of speed, I think, which allowed me to get to his bumper. wasn't really that much, but right here you can see I bra it was breaking a little bit later. I didn't expect him to get this slow, so I kind of tried to avoid him. I wasn't really trying to bump him, but it wound up being my very first bump and run. I just barely touched his uh, bumper bar, and that kind of pushed him up the track just very slightly, just enough so I could gas it down. And that led me finishing to 6th. So overall I think I finished pretty good here, especially considering I didn't do enough practice for this track. I'm looking forward to South Boston, definitely gonna practice during the week. So guys, thanks for watching, go ahead and let me know any suggestions you have in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys at South Boston.